Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Um, as you guys can see, I am in the office because of all the hot wheels behind me. But today, um, I'm really happy with this episode that's coming up because sweet. Um, I want to thank CNC Innovations for pairing up with me and giving me the opportunity to try out and test out the brand new runners for the 2GZ intake manifold. So this one is straight bolt on to it. So this just arrived today and I can't wait to put it on. So <clears throat> this guy, you could either pick it up, you know, with um, optional. It is optional for you guys if you want to put the secondary fuel rail or if you just want to keep it like as just the runners but me i went with the secondary fuel rail just because i know later on in the future the car is gonna need it and so why not now i just kill two birds with one stone so i got the option with the secondary fuel rail and it is anodized black so that way it matches with the one that i have on my car so that everything is black so without further ado um let me stop talking and start unwrapping this box all right guys so let's go ahead and start unboxing this bad boy so let's go ahead grab my razor right here and let's start peeling away all this plastic that it has see it's a very important package so maybe the best protection that they could get And there she is. Can't wait to go ahead and put her on the car. Secondary fuel rail. Alright, so pretty much guessing this is the rail line that goes for the secondary fuel rail. So this connects to the intake runners from the top and you go start putting in your injectors and everything like that. But let's put this on the side for right now because the one that everybody wants to see is the brand new runners that have been in development for a couple months now. So they've been testing, running, and seeing and now it is my turn to go ahead put it on the car and then take the car straight to the dyno because that is what everybody wants so i think the goal to be is 185 but i'll double check i'll put the i'll go ahead and put the last dyno sheet up on the camera right now And so that is the goal to beat. So here she is, oh my God. And man, is this thing light. Which is a really great thing that these things are light. And oh, and another thing that people have been asking is how good does my um, intake manifold hold heat? Oh my God, man. Like I, you could drive that car for like hours. Put your hand on the runners or manifold or whatever. And man, you will not feel or burn your hand. You'll feel that it's warm, but you will not burn your hand. These things can hold heat and not, <laughs> look at that, man. It looks pretty. Let's put out on the sun for you guys. There you go. 2ZZ GE right there, as you guys can see. Ah, oh, this thing looks pretty. Obviously, CNC Innovations right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. CNC innovations. Yeah, this thing is light and she looks pretty. Really pretty. Freshly painted too. You could smell the paint on it. Put that right there. And there you go. Obviously, all you have to do is finish drilling the holes here. Oh no no. Yeah, yeah. You gotta finish drilling the holes here. So this is where your second your other fuel injectors go. So obviously just drill down and it'll go straight through here. So sweet, let's 
put that there gently and let's go ahead and open this little guy right here which is pretty much like i said this is the where the little thing goes There we go again, 2ZZGE. So this goes here, connects right there. About right there, and then everything else lines up. Bam, and then you could have yourself eight fuel injectors. So obviously the more boost, the higher pressure that you go, obviously instead of it going lean, you got four more fuel injectors and then you could put it on bam and you are good to go tune it obviously but here it is you guys here is everything that came in so longer runners these things are wide they look just like itbs they're like itbs but all they have is probably like more extra parts obviously to connect to the <clears throat> to the bigger part for the intake manifold and then your secondary fuel row if you get the option to because remember you could get it with and without the secondary fuel rail so here is the unboxing you guys of the new one so now all i have to do is take off the old intake or the runners the short runs the short ones i mean and then go ahead and put this ones on and obviously give you side the side to side comparison of how they look and everything like that but yep here she is and man do they look nice so without talking, I mean, stop talking. Let me stop talking and let's go straight to the garage and take the intake off and put this guy on. Alrighty, so here I am back in the garage. As you can see, there is the new runners and I am going to start taking off pretty much what all this. So this, I need to take off or actually I could just keep on. I just have to release this and that's it. There is no, no cable. So all this could stay on actually. So scratch what i was gonna do and time to find out what size these bad boys are now, what about a quarter nope all right what about this guy bingo all right got him now i need an extension because i am obviously going to be short and the extension is right here uh, there's parts everywhere um as you guys can see the turbo is not on the car as of right now the turbo is right there laying on top of that pillow and man where is this there we go <clears throat> um it's because we obviously are going to test out the runners now and doing so meaning that no turbo for right now so to the guys that wanted to see my car turbo actually what am i doing i don't gotta take this off i gotta take this off which should be a, probably a 13. No, it's actually a 12. And that is, this is it right there. So 13, that goes here, 12, that's 11. Oh my God, the ones that I need are never here. This is why you guys, you put your stuff back because you never know when you're gonna need it. This is a 14. Where is that 12? Man, oh, I believe it's right here. Yeah, but I think it's this one right here. Bingo. 12. So let's take this guy off. So when I download the car, I'm going to be running the intercooler as my quarter intake because I am not going to go through the trouble. And it is also going to be open header because there's no point in me wasting money if I'm gonna cut the exhaust again, obviously for the freaking downpipe or the <clears throat> the turbo manifold, I mean, because the downpipe is obviously going over there and that resonator and everything. So the exhaust is gonna be three inch for the turbo. Uh, everything fell. It was right there under the car. But, all right, this is off. That is good, let me take off this. Right here, where is the little clip at? There it is.
Bam. Donezo. That's out of the way. And all I have to do is get the Allen key that fits there, which might be this right here. Correcto Mundo. Alrighty, I got my little Allen tool right here in my hand, so let's go ahead and see if we could get this guy. Because I know we do, obviously. It's just that. Just spinning him out sucks because I got no room to do it, and he's still tight. Can I go? So let me get this guy again. Come on, let go. Let go of the gate, please. I need it. <laughs> Does not want to come off. Jeez, man. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see if I can loosen it a little bit more. Alright you guys, so as you guys can see here is the size difference between the short runners and my long runners So there you guys go So after an eternity of taking off these little guys with just where is it this? It hurts my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead get me a little snack break and then get back to building this and putting everything back together I mean so that way I can finish that up and we can see how much closer it is to my radiator fans and make sure that I have enough space and everything is set. So that way all I have to do is obviously put that together and well, <coughs> well I'm gonna need a header because as you guys can see, I only have a turbo manifold. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely gonna need a header to try this guy out because I want to make it fair. I do want to make the car an A again, or just keep it an A as of right now to give it a fair chance that, because this one was obviously an A, and I'm not going to be able to tell the power gain or the power loss um, turbo. So obviously I'm going to have to keep the car in A on the dyno, make sure it runs. But like I said, I'm going to have to keep the open header because there's no point of me welding the, ex the header onto an exhaust and then having to cut it back off again. So. As of right now, this is where I am at, so I'm going to keep working. Um, well, I'll get back to you guys once I put the runners back onto the manifold and everything like that, and then I am ready to put it back into the engine bay, so see you guys in a little bit. Peace out. 